January, Goro, the county governments are at an average of 45% wage bill to revenue ratio, according to the financial year 2022-2023. As you serve your last term as governor, what is your parting shot on matters productivity and the wage bill target of 35% in county governments? Um, thank you very much, Commissioner. I think um, uh, it's very interesting, um, the conversation about the wage bill and what it is that we can do. And I think uh, as a nation, uh, it has come at the right time. Uh, indeed, the county governments uh, at the moment are at about 42, an average of 42 uh, percent. That means that there are those with a lot higher um, and then there are those who with um, a lot less, uh, closer to 35. But I would like before even uh, we discuss in broad terms and uh, maybe uh, make proposals, bring us uh, into perspective as to why the uh, wage bill of the county government has been growing. And I think this has been discussed in the last two days here. Uh, just from statistics alone, uh, if you look at health facilities, we started with uh, 8,466 health facilities in 2013. We are now at 16,655. Um, doctors were at 874. We are now at 4,398. Um, nurses were at 6,620. We are at 31,923. Extension officers were 1,725. And we are right now at um, 8,078. And now we have uh, started the UHC program. We are going to increase uh, and include um, our CHPs into the wage bill. And um, therefore, uh, with all that and the payments for NSSF and all, this is very critical that we have this conversation of how do we achieve all this because the things that I have mentioned are indeed critical. And not to mention that we also um, inherited uh, mostly uh, on the county's uh, side, bloated um, public services from the defunct local authorities and those people being protected under the permanent and pensionable. So even if you were to do your restructuring, uh, you would not be able like to move them. So you have to increase for critical services that are devolved and at the same time um, uh, be able to maintain the current stuff that you have. The other very critical issue is that revenues to counties has not been increasing in the commensurate um, manner. For all the functions that we have, uh, if you look at where our revenues are pegged, they are pegged on audited accounts of maybe three years or so behind uh, as compared to three to two years behind as opposed to the current um, year that has just passed where the percentage of revenue going to counties will be a little higher. If the uh, percentage of the revenue to counties was higher, and if uh, counties put measures in place to increase their revenue allocation, they would be able to lower the average, um, that uh, the wage bill average per county. But this is uh, one issue that we cannot um, scatter around. I think we need to have a conversation about um, functions and resources following those functions. And then, as um, Chair of SRC has said, maybe we need to look also at our structures and see how they are populated and how do we deal with the issue of uh, rationalizing those structures so that you have critical staff that are required for the critical services that counties are supposed to um, uh, implement. Uh, counties are supposed to implement the functions that counties are supposed to implement.